Can you be on your sit down and lift up your right hand and worship God in this place? Lift up your right hand and worship God. Magnify His name. Exalt the name of the Lord. Rakarosh efalate kadoro rabaradoza. Ela luze palate ketoro dodoza tayalada. Efra legadede. Alekos efalando dodoza sifra lakate ya. Lift up your right hand. Lakoros efalando dodoza. Aloru kete sira parada da 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 da. Lekosu ralenda di. Ralekoto su palada. Ospi. From the heavens and the earth, break forth from the heavens and the earth. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth. Break forth. Break forth. to is to start from what God has done. You recant your success. Your success becomes a weapon in the, in the hand of God. You don't go before Goliath and don't recant how to win the battle. There must be something you must say to terrorize Goliath. David said, I kill the bear and I kill the lion. At that point, Goliath began to look this young guy, 17-year-old guy that can kill the bear. How many of you have seen how tall the bear could look like? How many of you watch documentary on Nigeria Y? You see how tall a, the other bear can, can look like. Now, he told Goliath, he said, I killed the bear. At that point, the guy, he went back again. He said, look at this guy. If he could kill the bear, there must be something inside of him. Then I killed the lion. Ah. Then he's making a statement. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine that will stand before the Lord God of my father? He said, I will, I will not only kill you, but I will cut your head. Uh, um, uh. So, so 
we were praying and um, we were praying, we were praying and um, you know, a case was brought into the council of the midnight elders. So they said the, the man had a growth in, a, in his intestine. He couldn't eat, he couldn't do anything for a while. So when the case was brought to the council of the elders, we gather in the midnight hour. Pali kozara, le kopra le kado doza. We gathered, and uh, the Lord said we should administer a bottle of oil. We gave a bottle of oil to the to the man. You, we cannot follow you to the hospital, but you go and give your husband to drink. The man drank the bottle of oil. You know, growth in the intestine means that the intestine is blocked, and uh, you cannot eat again. You cannot drink water again. Nothing is going again. So when the oil got to the man, the man drank it, and immediately healing came. But you see, doctors always doubt because there is no, they have not been able to strike balance between divinity and science. There is no balance between our father healing you and Scientology. So the doctor said, let us open him up. And they opened the man up. After doing about four scans before that time, and each of the scans revealed that there's something in the intestine, like a growth. But by the time they opened up the man, my altar is, is calling you, oh God. God. My altar is calling you. When they opened up the man, they couldn't see any growth in the intestine again. So, so that the doctor would be like, we opened the man up. The doctor said, let us look for another thing. They say, we look for another thing that is appendix. Who does not have appendix in his body? How does growth in the intestine now resolve into appendix? But you see, the word went forth. It was the same word they used to create you. So if the same word is used to create you, is it not the same word that can use to remove and reamend you and realign you and reshape you? We don't have license to practice science, to practice medicine, but we have license to practice divinity. Hey. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. the centurion servant said, don't come to my house. Speak the word, and my servant will be it. Do you know something? Bible said, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the earth. They that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Say with me. A shadow of the Almighty. And he will, sir, he will say of the Lord. Is what? And my what? You see, let me tell you how the shadow of the Almighty looks like. Look at the floor. Look beside you. What, what will you see? You will see your shadow there. Am I correct? Even in the dark, if a light is cast on you, you will see a shadow. Am I correct? Am I correct? Anytime you see your shadow, you are not only seeing yourself. You are seeing a portion of God kept inside of you. You see, God has a way of cooking himself inside man. So when you punch yourself and blood come out of you, it is not only attesting to the fact that your heart is working. It also represents something inside of you that there is a blood that was hung on Calvary tree. You are an extension of that blood. So when the blood is coming out of your body, it doesn't only reflect, it doesn't only show that you have blood. It shows that you are connected to the blood of the blood. No wonder. The Bible said, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the earth. How do you know God is with you? He said, look at your shadow. They that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow. Once you see your shadow, there is a part of God that is following you. <laughs> see, see, your skin is not only covering bones. It's covering God hid inside of a man. Hmm? Thy 
word have I hidden inside of? Uh -uh. Thy word have I done what? Hidden inside of you. So God wrapped himself inside soil, inside the earth, and he hid himself inside of you. So when you see your shadow, you are not only seeing your own shadow. You are a reflection of something else that you are not seeing. Because the invincible are analyzed by the visible. Romans 1.20. He said the invisible things are seen. And it, how do you see the invisible things? By the physical thing that is a reflection of it. So when I see Jay Franklin, I'm not seeing you. There's a part of you that is in heaven that is making me to see you. If that part of you in heaven is shut down, I will not see you again. So the fact that you are still walking, you are seeing your shadow, it means that there is a dimension of God that is living inside of you. I pray today that that part of you that you cannot see again, that dimension of you that is no longer reflecting the Holy Ghost again, that portion of you that people are not seeing. Meanwhile, he said, when they see you, they should see me. But unfortunately, they are seeing you. You are looking ordinary. Your shadow is not even moving mountain. Your blood is an ordinary blood. You cannot push position. You cannot shift level. I pray today, let this altar call. And let this altar begin to speak for you now. I don't care how long you have been waiting. You see, if we can speak the word and uh, growth inside the intestine could disappear. If we can speak the word and cancer could disappear. Uh, you know, somebody met me on TikTok. I said, come today that you will be healed today. You don't understand? Because they, they know they are God. They shall be strong and they shall what? And long time a bold day, you know, long time a bold day speaking boldly in the Lord. And as they were speaking, it was giving credence to the word of their mouth. Ashe or Roni, credence to the word of their mouth. Ashe or As they were saying it, covenant was following it up and down. I decree, let that covenant begin to speak for you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. My altar my is calling you, O oh God. Is calling you. Can you lift up your voice, everybody? My Say, My altar, my altar is calling you. Oh God, my altar, my altar is calling you. Look at the beginning, he said, Oh, speak from the heavens. Don't come to my house, but speak from the heavens. I may be at work. There is no time to call my pastor, but speak from the heavens. They are threatening me in my office, but speak from the heavens. After you speak, what will happen? And they have to speak from the heavens. And they have to my heart, my heart is calling you, oh God, oh God, my heart, yes, my heart is calling you. He covered your body with skin. He gave you bone for rigidity and for support. He made you to see your shadow so that you can know that there's a dimension of God that is hidden inside of you. He made blood, he made blood to run inside of, your, inside of your body so that it can pump. For you to know that you are connected to Calvary. Because when they put that spear beside him, blood gushed out. So the blood is not a waste. Archaeologists, they said... After some years, about 2,000 years, they discovered a blood under Gogota, and they said the blood is still potent. They used science to test it. They said this blood is still potent. Macarados, Efaladodosa. The blood of God is still potent. 
is going to heal every... Ah, somebody sent me one disease, I don't understand. Liposomptic something. I said, what is the meaning of this one? Every liposomptic something that I cannot remember, I decree and declare, before you step out of this place, be healed now in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you know, one, my son said, Apostle, let us sit down because you are used to praying on the mountain. So I respect. I said, if I'm... Um, you know, mountain is you will stand. Daddy, you know, on the mountain. He said, let us sit down so that we can write. You know, but I want you to sit down today so that you can write. But in case the power of God touch you, don't join them. Stand up like me, okay? You understand? Because there's a way the power works. It's like a wind. Like a wind. It will just come. It will, like a mighty rushing wind. And it will hit you hard. How many of you want the glory of God to hit you hard today? So, a lady met me on TikTok. We were just going. I said, what is the meaning of uh, endritimiosis? You know those things. And then they said, I cannot give birth. I said, but you are pregnant. She said, yes. She said, should I go and remove it? I said, ah. They said, you have taken one womb. They have taken another. We still want to go and remove the baby. Don't remove it. If you remove it, that's the hand. You understand? But God even travels far. He goes to social media. He goes to, he go to, I mean, he goes to TikTok. He goes to Facebook. He goes there and he's already performing healing. How much more you that you are here physically today? How much more those of you physically present here today? I decree and declare. You will not go back the same way you came again. So this is where if you don't make that amen very loud, you are going to stand up. I say you will not go back the same way you came again. My altar is calling you. Hey. Oh, God. oh God, my altar is calling you. My altar, my altar is calling you. Oh God. talk about the ministry of angels. The ministry of angels. Unfortunately, you people will be preaching with me. You cannot sit down, okay? With me. You will carry your leg like this. You know, it's a difficult topic because not too many people, you know, preach about angels. Otherwise, people are scared. They, want to, they don't want to get into heresy. You know, why why do people run away from the subject of angel? Number one, they do not know how to separate the gap. They don't know which one is angel, which one is Holy Spirit. They don't know which part of angels, you know. I, I even see people preach, praying to angels. Haven't you heard of angel Michael, Mimo? Have you heard of it before? Have you heard of angel Gabriel, Mimo? People are even praying to angels. Uh, meanwhile, these guys are meant to service us. <laughs> ah, when the angels saw the way God made man, they said, what is man? That thou art mindful of him. Because in the laboratory of heaven, you understand? They saw the test tube. They saw the chemical equipment. And they were there in the factory. They said, God, the way you are making these people, these people are custom built. He said, ah, ah. These people are fearfully and wonderfully made. For, oh, I like that in follow come. These people are follow come. When you even created them, you left their spare parts in heaven. In case, there, in case their hide is damaged, they can quickly pick one eyes. My altar is calling you. <laughs> oh God, my altar is calling When the angels saw the way we are being created, they became jealous. They now said, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visited him? Kill all day. Why did you take time to create these people more than us? When God was creating them in their own, he used light to create them. Thunder. They were created as a byproduct of thunder. But you... <laughs> 
Look at what you did. Look at what you did. Come. Come. Pastor, come. Let me tell you what God did. God the Father. God the Son. Holy Spirit. Come, come. Let me tell you what he did. This is what I am the God the Father. This is God the Son. This is Holy Spirit. All of us, we used to be together before. Yes, Papa. But when, he wa when we want to make man, I came out of them. I saw a dust on the floor. I went inside of a dust. I wrapped myself inside a dust. When the angels were observing, they said, this, my father, why are you doing this to us? <laughs> In our own time, ordinary lights. <laughs> but <laughs> you, you, you came, you brought a telescope. You used your telescope. You used your audio scope scope that science talk about. And you molded them. You didn't even stop there. You now came out of yourself. You now came out of yourself. And you, your verse, you say, Dodondawa. Dodondawa means only you can understand what you did. He came out of himself and wrapped himself inside of a dust. Ah, when the angel saw, he said, What is man that I am mindful of him? Oh, <laughs> Oh, speak from the heavens. And the earth would hear. Oh, speak from the heavens. And the earth would My heart. Is a God of ages past. There are so many ages in God. That's why they call him the God of ages past. You know, so many ages have existed. So they existed. <laughs> you are not the first person. Other people have existed before you. But during your time, during your time, we took a specimen. We said we will not waste time. The way we... In the, during the angelic period, we wasted time for them. But the angelic time, they failed. Because one of them wanted to be like God. And God said, look at this angelic period that we created. They have failed me. Let me tell you the code of the angels. The code of the angel is service. Somebody says service. The angelic code is what? Service. So, in the angelic code, God gave them service as a weapon. That will make him to remember them. So as they appear before God. Bible says that as they appear before Zion. They grow from glory to glory. From grace to grace. So when the angels appear before God. And they say holy. Holy is the lamb that was slain. You know. As they appear before God. God begins to increase them in glory. He begins to increase them from grace to grace. Uh, but they failed. One of them wanted to be like God. So we drove them out. But God now said, since this angelic age has failed me, let me now create another age. And the age of man now came. We took you, we, we brought a specimen. We took you, in, we spread you in all the laboratories of heaven. And the angels were watching, they put their hands like this. They were watching you. And we did not even only create you, your spear part is in heaven. So, when your eyes is damaged, uh, what we need to do is to plug there and go to the storeroom. We go to the reservoir and we say, which eyes is available? Let me also tell you something. Let me also tell you something. That eyes eh, is plug and play. It's plug and play. Eh, what, which part of your right eyes? You will just like, right eyes, take it. And Lalaro said, I was, I mean, that, that guy said, I was once blind. But now I can see. What happened? They just went into the reservoir and said, what is wrong with you? Ice is, you are having ice problem. Oh, yeah, but take the original ice. <laughs> I, I was in a crusade. Amputated leg. They have removed the leg. At that time, we were small. We were just singing one song. We were singing one song. I was very young. It was, it was Baba Kumi that was preaching. Jesus only 
is my message. Jesus only, our team shall be. And the leg they have caught, the leg jump out again. You don't get it? You think the power only belongs to the herbalist? We are rewriting history. We are among the people that will make you know that power belongs to God. The guy said, I'm having liver problem. I said, neither. I don't need to see you because the word has gone into the dust. And he wrapped himself inside the dust. And it's now living inside of a man. He said, out of your belly. Speak the word and my servant will be healed. You see, the age, the code for the age of the angels is what? Service. I was once a teacher. Don't worry, I will not deviate. And the code for the age of man is God inside a dust. Somebody say God inside a dust. <laughs> Angelic age is what? Is governed by what? Service. But the code of man, God inside of dust. That is why there was a prayer we used to pray on the mountain. Uh uh. Oh, a bamity, a basic queen in your tin, your fin form. That mysterious thing that you place inside of men that makes men to speak and they hurt hearing. You, Lord, place that mysterious thing inside of me. It is not sweet in English. The Bible says, Oh, a bamity, a basic queen in your tin, your fin form. A basic queen, you know. I pray today. That thing that makes a man to speak and the heart would hear him. That God that has wrapped himself inside dust that make men to see him. Hear the voice of the living God. As you step out during this week, let your life begin to speak volume again. In the name of Jesus. Can you, as you are sitting, can you do like this on your seat? Can you do like this on your seat? Can you do like that? Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Mystery that makes a man to speak with power. Mysteries that make a man to speak with power. Place inside of me today. Open your mouth. Rakete rosa pala na na na. Open your mouth and play le karo sefa. Open your mouth now. That thing that speaks volume inside of man. In Jesus' name we pray. Please sit down. By the way of introduction, angels, angels themselves, they are not superior to you. I've shown you because you have a greater code of existence than them. So it is an heresy if you go somewhere and you see them praying unto the angel. Something is wrong somewhere. There is a lack of understanding somewhere. You see, they may have manifestation. They may have signs and wonders. Do you know that signs and wonders these days assume people they are even doing manifestation? Assume priests. Have you not seen? Are you don't you watch your TV? Have you not seen how other people are also doing manifestation? They will do like this and people are falling down. Uh -uh. And I say, so manifestation itself is not a proof that God is with you. A guy, they call him Pharaoh. The guy threw his rod on the floor. He became serpent. Moses threw his own rod on the floor. He became serpent too. So the fact that your rod is on the floor and it became serpent doesn't mean that God is with you. They, don't, they didn't hear that. Manifestation on its own. It's not an attestation of the fact that God is in your supreme being. But how do we know God is with you? How do we know that you serve God? Anytime Jesus Christ manifests power, anytime you see him manifestation, you will see him. And the Bible said that he will live where he is or he was. And he will crawl into the mountain. Why? Because intimacy is greater than manifestation. So you may have signs and wonders. You see, people are quick to liking signs and wonders, sir. And that is why people like now, 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 now. The God of what? Now, now, now. So they will say, 
if I have been praying with apostle for 20 days and God has not answered me, let me go to another place. And uh, let me also shock you. Abalis will do magic and signs and wonders will happen. You understand? But they will say the way we believe that God is a God of now, now, now is that can't you see the life of Elijah? Elijah prayed and by fire came down now, now, now. They came with that theory. So they now supported it that when you pray and answer, his answer comes down now, now, now. It means that God is with you. But I will show you another theology. Do you know what Elijah did when he was praying? He told those folks, he said, you pray first in the morning. Let me pray in the evening. So what was he doing from morning till evening? Was he folding his arms? What was he doing? What he was doing was that he was preparing the way. Like John the Baptist. Efrele kataya la dodosa. Ma doju adura timinilo leulua. E polisa taya la koda baraseta. Rekete. He was building these things up. So when evening came, he didn't have to pray again. He just said, where is fire? And fire came down from the altar. Why? The day you call fire is not the day fire will come. Fire would have come before you call it down. Oh, you don't get me. The day you fail is not the day you failed. Failure would have happened before failure comes. You see, winners, winners don't emerge that day. You understand? Winners. See, Dave Frank, let me tell you something. Eh? Battles are not won on the day of the fight. Battles are not won on the day of the fight. Write it down. Battles are usually won before the day of the fight. On the day of the fight, only a winner emerge. You only come to receive trophy. You would have won the battle before the day of the fight. So I know that God is a God of instanta. But from research, I have seen that miracles that are given to you without working for it don't always last in your hand. Because after a while, it will fall down from your hand. It will fall down from your hand. But miracle that follows a process endures forever. Because when your miracle follows a process, they nailed you to the cross. They put crown on your head. They put spear beside you and blood is, gush and blood is gushing out. And you are still waiting. Ooh, for the joy of the cross. I mean, the crown I waited for him. Endure the pain of the cross. And uh, let me tell you what he did. In his own time, after enduring the pain, when the angels finally opened that door, they sat on it. When they sat on it, it means that this, this door will not close again. Until date, the door is still opened. If you follow process, the door will forever open. But if you follow quick answer, the door will close and open again. It will close and open again because you have not been trusted and trusted. But if you pass through fire and you know what it is to gather experience, experience will always speak for you. And once the angel opens that door, it will be forever open for life. It will not be shut again. How many of you are experiencing rise and fall? Rise and fall. It's because you are seeking for instant miracle. Go and seek for a God of process. God is not only a God of instanta. He is also a God of process. God is not only a God of now, now, now. Now, now, now will make you fall into heresy. Prophets will deceive you. Apostles will deceive you. Abbalists will deceive you. Prophetess will deceive you. Because they know that when you are going through trouble, you are vulnerable. And they capitalize your vulnerability to deal with you. You know? So you are superior than the angels. The fact that God answers you now, now, now doesn't mean God is with you. Now let me tell you who are angels. Write it down. Who are angels? A spiritual being believed to act as an attendant agent or a messenger of God. A spiritual being believed to be an attendant 
or a messenger of God. Conventionally represented in human form with wings and a long rope, you know. But you see, there, I will show you a dimension of angel or angels that doesn't fly with wings. I will show you a dimension of angels that doesn't wear long rope. I will show you very soon. But you see, they are meant to carry God's message down to the earth. So they are only an agent. They are only a carrier of message from heaven. They are not in themselves a God. Bible said that you are God. Don't you know that I've made you a God unto Pharaoh? You are better than the angels. You, understand? you have a better code than them. In their own time, they are called for existing in service. But your own time, when you even dishonor God, when you even obey God and there is no service in your life, God can decide to look at the cross of Calvary and use mercy to speak for you. You don't understand? But in their own time, they offended God, they drove them out. There was no mercy that could speak for them. But since you are specially created, you offended God, you offend God, you turn to Calvary and they say, no, 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 come, come. There is what can speak for you. Let us use the blood of the lamb to speak for you. Oh yeah, you go, go, go and see no more. There is something called go and see no more in the word of God. Am I correct? Angels, Lucifer was not given that opportunity. In their own time, the snake, is that you break the edge, the serpent bites. No time, no time to waste. Are you not of a greater covenant than them? Angels are not meant to take your place. Oh. Auntie, auntie, I didn't know that there are something called angels. You see, you cannot even teach angels in angelic visitation if you have not experienced it before. I was on the mountain with one of my son. So we were on the mountain, we were praying, we were praying. I just saw one person. He just came down. He came down with sword. You know, it was as if I was in a trance. The person went back again. Uh -uh. He came back with babies. Uh -uh. It was as if I was in a trance. I didn't understand. When the person left, my spiritual imagination, my physical imagination opened up. I was asking the person beside me. I said, did you see that person? He said, no. What am I talking about? Uh -uh. I asked. I now called a senior person. He said, look at what I saw. He said, you've just seen an angel. I said, oh, that is how it is. So I didn't know. I said, the guy came with sword. The guy, so that day, they delivered to me my ministry. I know by encounter that I am into a deliverance and a, and a prophetic ministry. You know, shortly after that time, it, doesn't, it did not even take long. Within two minutes, my eyes just opened. Somebody came beside me. I said, Baba, you are just coming from somewhere in a bush in Mamba. Somebody just washed your head. The man looked at me. Five minutes to that time, I couldn't do it. But when they sent a messenger from heaven, the spiritual eyes opened. And then now, now we'll tell people names. Now we'll tell people their addresses. Now we'll tell people what they ate yesterday. Now we are telling people what they have tomorrow will look like. Now we can tell people what they will do. You know, it is just like a spiritual wind. It's just come. Gra -gra -gra -gra. Now, let me tell you, today you will receive an angelic encounter too. Okay, I said you will receive an angelic encounter too. In the mighty name of Jesus. If any, but Pastor, if anybody does come with wings and do flap -a -pa -pa beside me, I will say, I know you now, you are an angel. Which angel do you belong to? Which one? I will ask you a question now. Because I know by spiritual code that you cannot come to kill me. You understand? You will just come and deliver your message and go. Who sent you? Are you from God or you're from the uh -uh? But when I was younger, I was praying. I said, God, let me have an angelic encounter. Somebody came and walked into my room and tapped me at the back. And I was the only person in the room. I couldn't turn my neck. Has it happened to you before? I was the one praying. You know? I said, they, they said there is something called angel. I said, I was praying. And somebody touched my back. He touched my back. And uh, my neck, I said, hey, I don't enter. Because I read somewhere in the Bible that uh, if you see me, the eyes that see me, what? We die. I said, ah, I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die now. <laughs> I ran into my room. But when power came, 
when power came, when power came, we were conversing. We were conversing. Wait, 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 wait. How many of you have read your Bible? Revelation chapter 3. He said to the angels of the church in Ephesus, to the angels of the church in Sardis. All those guys called angels, they don't have wings. They are human beings like you. So if they want to write my history, after we have fought a good fight of faith, they will say to the angels of the church in Omolia Estate, who are they talking about? They are talking about Apostle Dio. He won't stop. He won't, he won't stop. stop. See your life looks like him. He won't stop. <laughs> he won't stop. <laughs> See the touch looks like Number two, angels. There are, there are, there are angel investors in business. Those ones, you know, banks will not finance you if you are a startup. But angel investors, those are the term used for investors that are willing to invest their money into your business. Even when your business does not have a form, they will monitor it from back to back until your business begins to have a form. So, those are some of the terminologies used for angels. They also use angels for somebody that is very loving, very caring. You will hear a man saying, that's my angel. Am I correct? Most of them for women that are very caring, that are very understanding. And a woman can also call his husband angel. So it doesn't mean that when your wife says you are an angel, you have wings. Am I correct? It doesn't mean that you are, you, you are superior more than your wife. But the man is just saying that the way you are acting, the way you are taking care of me, the way, you, the way you know how to, how to pet me when I'm sorrowful, you must be an angel. Because an angel is being called to serve. An angel is not meant to dominate over you. Are you getting me tonight? Let us go into the types of angels that we have. The one that lives within us, the one that we can see, they call them the sons of God. Write it down, Genesis chapter 6. Sons of God. Types of angel. One, sons of God. My altar is calling me. Oh God. Now, in, in, no, in, in, in Matthew 25, in Matthew 25, verse 45, they ask a question. Jesus Christ said, Jesus Christ said, uh, you know, they were asking God, they said, When did we see you that they would not clothe you? When did we see you that they would not give you food? He said, ah, when you cannot do it unto these people, you understand what I mean? Then you have not done it unto me. These guys that you are seeing, they are the angels. They call them sons of God. In Genesis chapter 6, you can open your Bible to Genesis chapter 6. You know, he said the sons of God, they saw that the daughters of men were beautiful. Did you see? How come they would describe it like that? Sons of God saw that the daughters of men. Why can't the Bible say the, the sons of men saw that the daughters of men were beautiful? Why would the Bible say the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful? That should begin to suggest something else to you. When the Bible calls them sons of God, it should be, you begin to look at it. Why would Bible call some people sons of God and call the other people daughters of men? Now, the word sons of God there He's not talking about Jesus Christ. He's talking about a peculiar creature. And they call it Benihah Elohim. Benihah Elohim. They are a peculiar being. They are angels. You know, they came down. They were one of the fallen angels. They saw that the daughters of men were beautiful. And the Bible said that they had interaction with them. You understand? They saw that the daughters of men were beautiful. Genesis chapter 6. And they what? They had interactions with them. Verse 2. They live among men. They, they are like human angel. Sons of God. They are like what? Human angel. They live among They saw that they were beautiful. They now started taking them as wife. You understand? They came down like angel. They saw that women were... Now, this is where you begin to suspect something. When they had interaction, when they were sleeping with each other, and they gave birth... They now gave birth to special beings. They didn't give birth to people like us, people like me. Bible says that they now gave birth to giants called Nephilim. N N E P H L I M, something like yeah, Nephilim. I L I M, yes, Nephilim. 
So they gave birth to a different species of human. They were different because of that type of interaction. If it was, if it was sons of men and daughters of men, they would give birth to people that looked like me. But because it was sons of God and daughters of men, they gave birth to a different type of species. And that is where you, be, you should begin to suspect that those sons of God that they are talking about, they are not normal people. You know? And theologians said that that was the beginning of the flood of Noah. Because God saw that if I allow these people to continue, how many of you know that they saw the remains of dinosaur, 80 million years old? You know? And the archaeologists, they, saw, they said some people have lived on the planet Earth. But theologians said that part of the flood of Noah was what, you know, washed them out of the surface of Earth because of that interaction. So, there are angels called sons of God. They live among us. They eat the kind of food that we eat. They wear the kind of clothes that we wear. They even have interactions with our women. <laughs> How many of you have seen that? Uh, How many of you have seen something? You are sleeping in the middle of the night. Eh? And somebody came to you. And you know that you are not sleeping. And the person will come to have physical interactions with you in your dream. You will wake up as a man. You will feel that you have had interactions with a lady. Why? Because you will feel that there's something that has come out of your body like sperm. Am I correct? We are adults here, right? You know, what happened? Who, who were they? How did they come to have interactions with you? They are living among us. And that type of interaction will always produce aberration. What did I say? So, I was arguing with one of my sisters, you know. I said, one of the products of interaction between sons of God and daughters of men is fibroid. Because it's breathing. It has blood inside of it. The only thing is that it has not come out to start working. Am I correct? But scientifically, it cannot be explained. But spiritually, we can explain it. You understand? Because it's an evil deposit. And you will flush it out of your system. Anytime you have an understanding of how it got there, you should be able to have spiritual knowledge of how to exit it out of your body. Am I correct? Therefore, tonight, I break the yoke of fibroid. I break the yoke of ovarian cyst. I break the yoke of every tumor. I decree and declare because we now have the understanding of how it got there. It's an aberration. And we know we cannot flush it out. I decree tonight, let your system be free. I don't like this, amen. I said, let your body system be free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Can you imagine that kind of interaction? Gave birth to something on holy alliance. Gave birth to Nephilim's giants. So you will now begin to see people who are, that the evil deposit in them is giving birth to fibroid. It's giving birth to appetitis. Ap, uh, I couldn't pronounce that thing on. You know, they made this of me on, on Facebook yesterday. I said, what is out there? I said, appetitis. I said, you understand? It's appetitis. You understand? Any evil deposit that resides inside of you that is not from God. Either it gets there by chance when you slept off. How many of you have even slept in your dream? Somebody will come to press you down. You want to say G's, G's. You can only say the G. The source is not coming out. <laughs> you can only say the G. The source is not coming out. The poor are they? They live among men. On only interaction. Sons of God. So they are positive. They are also negative. As we have them, you know, we also have them in another way. I pray tonight that your understanding will open up. We were, we were going to mountain someday. Our car broke down. Our car broke down in the middle of the forest. Daddy, when our car broke down, somebody came on an Okada from nowhere. 11.30 p.m. The guy came with Okada. He said, what happened? I said, our tire. He said, okay. He brought spanner. He broke in it. He did it. Pa, 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 pa. After doing it, eh, we said, we want to thank him. Where are you? We look back, we couldn't see him again. Uh -uh. I said, the guy came with bike, we saw him. So we said, oh, 
let's keep, we were now rushing to at that particular point. Eh, fear now came. In fact, apostle now fear also came. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's quickly leave this place. So 11:30, as we are leaving, the Lord ministered to me. He said, "Do you, do you know, know? Do you know what just happened?" I said, "No." He said, "I just sent you my angel." What is asked for you to do? It doesn't exist. Though. They still exist among men. See, you have not gotten to that height. That's why you are doubting it. A day is coming, you'll be in trouble, and they will send sons of God to you. They are ministering spirits. When they come, they look at the issues in your life. Because they are angel, agents, they are being sent. Are you getting me? They will come and perform that task. I don't know what is affecting you. I don't know what you are going through. Men may have disappointed you, but there are some people they can send unto you. And they will deliver the message and bring you out of your predicament. Today, after this, after this service, we give you opportunity to have an encounter with angel. In the name of Jesus. Angelic visit me. They come and you have an encounter with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God, my God, my God. <laughs> so, 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 Revelations 2 1. Revelations 2 1 said, To the angels of the church in Sardis, those are sons of God. Revelations 3 1 said, To the angels of the church in Laodicea, those are sons of God. Revelations, Revelations 3, you know, 14 says, To the angels of God in Philadelphia. You know, when they are talking about all those angels, they are not talking about human beings. It's just like, if I, I mean, if I just say, what is your name? If I, eh? if I say, to the angels of church, to the, to Tosin, the angels of church in church without war. You know, it doesn't mean that Tosin have wings. We are talking about sons of God that is living among men. So when you refer to apostle as an angel, you are not referring to me as the other angels that have wings. You are referring to me as a mouthpiece of God, as a messenger. You know? So, since I know that I'm a messenger, I can come here and set the seat before you, before you come. I know I'm a messenger. I can come and carry the speakers before you come. Because I am not the, I am not, you don't get it. I am not the one doing, I am a messenger. My job is to clean the seat, is to wash your feet. My father also washed the feet of other people. And he said, bring your feet, let me wash it. So that you can know that I'm also a... So when you see me, I am not an apostle. I am also one of the sons of God that is living among men. That is why we can say go and it will go. And we say come and it will come. Oh. Everything in your life that is not working. Today, I send you an angel. Amen. You know, do you know why the amen drop? You don't believe that angels can come and minister to you. Mama Bolare was singing. She wanted to produce a record. No money in her pocket. Somebody came to knock at her door. Pa, pa, pa. I said, well, we are from, we are from, they brought dollars to her. They put inside envelope. They said, Mama, take. Before Mama could go out to greet the person, say, wait for me, let me thank you. The person has gone. God is still in the business of sending angels to people. <laughs> if men fail you, if we send your brothers to you and he couldn't deliver the message, we will send angels to you. Your prayer can propel heaven. It was calling us. When Colinus prayed, pray, 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 they couldn't send men to him. They said, angel, go and visit Colinus. Because if we send men to this man, they will not be able to understand the essence of his prayers. They, they sent angel to go and visit Colinus. Today, your prayer will not only propel answer, but angels that will bring it to delivery will come down in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going somewhere. I, I, I'm, I'm going somewhere. La Caro da Diza. They make things effortless for you when one of them is allocated to you. Today we allocate territories for you in the name of Jesus. Okay. There's another type of angel. La Rose Fala Dodoza. Leto Kasupe, write it down. They call that one angels of resemblance. What did I say, sir? Angels of resemblance. So one of my sisters called me. He said, my mother appeared to me in my dream. He said, my mother said, I should go 
and do something. I said, come, let us search the Bible. Whether your mother has capacity to appear to you in a dream again. Let us, let us use spiritual to compare spiritual. And be sure that what you saw in your dream is your mother. You understand? But there is a spiritual ordinance. It was, it was in Lazarus and the rich man. The rich man, he told Father Abraham, let me go back and tell people on the planet Earth. Let me tell them that air fire is not good. Ah, Father Abraham said, you don't need to go. There are apostles that are there. There is Pastor Peron me there. There is daddy there. These ones, if they cannot believe this one, they cannot believe you. And uh, the spiritual ordinance came out from that. That the dead does not interact with the living. It is appointed unto man to die once. After death, there is what judgment. If they tell you that you saw your mother in your dream, it is not your mother that you saw. It is the angel of our resemblance. The angel of our resemblance will wear a clothes that she died with. She, the angels of resemblance will speak like her. The dead does not interact with the living. Oh, she will. It's a spiritual ordinance. Once you are dead, it is appointed unto man to die once. After that time is judgment. But we can send a resemblance unto you. We will communicate to you in the language that you understand. Because if I send another person to you, you will not be able, you will not do it. You will be disobedient. But I will send somebody that looks like that person to you so that you can understand the, the message we are passing across. So they call them what? Angels of what? Resemblance. You cannot see your mother again. That is the end. So if anybody appears to me and says, want to stab me, you see, these are the things that prophets and uh, her bodies used to scatter marriage. You will have a dream. You will see a man that look like, uh, like that look like a husband in a dream, and he now bring out knife. They will say, "Ah, that your husband is a wizard." Meanwhile, you are not seeing your husband. The poor man is sleeping somewhere. They say, "Ah, that man is using your glory." Meanwhile, you are only seeing demons. As we have angels of resemblance, we also have demons of resemblance. They will wear the image of your father to come and stab you in the middle of the night. So, they, when they wear the image of your father, they talk like him. They dress like him. But they will not, uh, prophet will not say, ah, that your father is a wizard. That your father wants to kill you. In fact, kill your father before he kills you. They scatter home. They say, leave that marriage, Joe. That man that you saw in your dream, is your husband. Walk out of that place. Demons of resemblance. People don't have, they don't have spiritual understanding. They have used this thing to scatter home. They are visiting to scatter marriages. They have destroyed the relationship because of lack of understanding. And Bible said that my people perish because of understanding. They lack understanding. These are spiritual sins. You know, if I see someone that looks like my mother in the dream, I will say, that's not my mother. That's a demon of resemblance. Then we'll start the battle. Reveal your real self unto me. By, by prophecy. By scriptural understanding, I know that the one that gave birth to me, that poor is blood, her blood on my head. I, at this my age, he did, she did not kill me when I was young. Why will he want to kill me now that I'm old? Now that I'm even enjoying life, small, small, daddy. When, when the woman is collecting small, small tithes from me, does she want me to die when I'm even... You know, people should understand spiritual sense. You must be spiritually intelligent. Say spiritually intelligent. So if somebody appeared to me and come say, my mother, you are bringing cutlass. I would say, come. <laughs> Let me tell you, I had a dream sometimes. I had a dream and somebody came with the image of my father and slapped me in the dream. And I woke up. Uh -uh. I was supposed to go to work. I told the Holy Spirit, I said, I'm not going out. Take me back into that dream. No, how will I go out defeated? I said, I now stay, I stood on my, my driver did not even come early, it was sweet. I sat on my couch and I went back into the dream. When the man come, I said, you are not my father. The one that taught me how to pray cannot come and stab me in the middle of the night. The one that taught me, that led me into the way of salvation 
cannot be the one that will come and orchestrate my downfall. I said, I know you by trick. You know, when Jesus Christ saw Peter, he said, get ye behind me, Satan. It wasn't Peter he was rebooking. He was rebooking the demon of resemblance. Yes, my mother is calling you. Oh God, my mother is calling you. Oh God. People, people that doesn't understand thought he was talking to Peter. It wasn't Peter. Peter that he trained. Peter that he taught how to pray. He will now say, get it behind me, Satan. He wasn't talking to Kuleja, he said, Peter. He was talking to that person that looks like Peter behind him. He said, I, am, I know thy works. I know, I know your auntie. For we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. <laughs> so when he saw Peter, this is not Peter I'm seeing. This is the angel of his resemblance. <laughs> you know, it was, it was Peter that was in prison. They, jail, they, they uncovered him. And, and they were supposed to kill him, but some people came from heaven. They, they, they removed the chain. That's not where I'm going. But when the small girl saw Peter, he ran back, she ran back and said, ah, the one we are praying for has arrived. They said, ah, no, 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 no. It must not be Peter that you saw. It has to be what? His angels. Because they are used to seeing angels in those days. You understand? It is not new to them that angels of resemblance with Tarak. The lady said, ah, somebody is knocking at the door. That person we are praying for, he has been released. They said, no, it's not Peter. It, it must be his angels. We call them angels of resemblance. They were used to seeing people that relate that. You know, you can pray so well and you will get to a point. People will be seeing you in three places at the same time. It is not you. You are even sleeping in your room. But you are laying hands on somebody outside. You are not the one they are seeing. They are seeing your angels of resemblance. You see, you can pray so well and God will multiply you. Have you not heard people saying that Bishop came to anoint me in the dream? Bishop Oedek will come to anoint me? The man is sleeping in altar. But his angels of resemblance will come and meet you in the dream. And say, thou anointed my head with oil. And my cup run it over. Because you have prayed so well. You are, you are propelling dimensions from heaven. And they said, ah, this way, the way you are praying will not allow you to go scot free. Let us send somebody to you to assist you. Do you know that you can pray so well? Your daughter in school, your daughter in school will see you in school and you are at home. And when she's about to fall, somebody will appear to her and say, if you follow that guy, they will kill you. And mommy, how did you get here? I just came to say hi. If it wasn't you that came to say hi, you are still in your room. But because you are praying so well, we have replicated you. We made you, we created your resemblance. Because if another person goes to your daughter, your daughter will not believe. But we want your daughter to be saved. We don't want somebody to kidnap your daughter. So we created angels of resemblance. And he will now go and step out of your body where you are. And he will wear your clothes and go and talk to your daughter. And say, go, don't, if you fall down, that man will kill you. Angels of resemblance. <laughs> they told Peter, they said, it wasn't Peter you saw, it must be his angels. Today, Today, I want to pray for you. When your people are about to fall, God will replicate you to go and minister to them. In the mighty name of Jesus. He replicates. You go, hey, see, right down. There is another type of angel. We call them guardian's angel. Guardian angels. You see, these guardian angels too, they look like angels of resemblance. You understand? They have similarity. But they are, all, they are differentiated by their own role. Because their duty is to guide you. In Proverbs chapter 30. You know, the word proverb means prophetic verbs. You are not listening to me. Proverbs means what? Prophetic verbs. Proverbs chapter 30 says something about Jesus Christ. <laughs> prophetic verbs. That's the meaning of Proverbs. You know, in Proverbs chapter 30, somebody spoke there. And 
he gave me understanding that that person was talking about Jesus Christ. If you can rise to your feet, Proverbs chapter 30. Proverbs chapter 30. Okay, sit down. because No, no, it's not the time. When it's time to pray, you will stand, you will blast in tongue. And you will know that something has left you. Am I correct? Now, listen to me. He said, the word of anger, the son of Jacob. Even the prophecy, the man spake unto Tiel, even Etel, and Uda. Go to verse 4. When you begin to hear all those kind of things, verse 4 will provide explanation on what we are talking about. He said, who had ascended up into heaven, or descended. Who is that person? Who is that person? You know, they, they started beginning. In verse 1, they said, Angor, son of Take, um, Etel, they were, and Uka, those are angels. They were talking about angels that went ahead to go and prepare way for somebody. And in verse 4, he gave us a context of who they went to prepare way for. Proverbs 30 verse 4, he said, who had ascended up into heaven? Who is that person? I want to hear a voice. All descended. Who is that person? Who had gathered wind in the feast? Who is that person? Oh, I can't hear you now. He said, who, who was the one that, he said, what manner of man is this? Even the wind and the sea obeyed him. Who are they talking about? I, I, I want you to talk. Who are they? Are you scared of, are you scared of shouting Jesus? I feel that people are scared of the name Jesus here. Yeah. You know? And he said, look at this one. He said, who had burned waters in a garment? Who is that? Who are they talking about? Oh my God now. Listen. They said, they said, who had established all the ends of the earth? Who are they talking about? This is not Daddy Shoki's name. This is the name of a father. For God has highly exalted him. And has given him a name. That is above every other name. That at the mentioning of the name of what? Jesus. Every knee will what? And every tongue will what? The power is not in the name of Apostle Dio. But there is something that God showed me. He said, greater than this, you will do. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I was, I was not the one that wrote it. It was Jesus that wrote it. Now, it means that I can arise to a particular point whereby my children want to pray. They will now say, where is the God of Apostle Dio? God is raising. You have power in his place. God is raising people of anointing in this place. Kayaka. God is raising people of glory in this place. He will stop. He will stop. See your eyes look like him. He will stop. He will stop. He will stop. Hey. See your eyes just like him. Who is he talking about in that place? Jesus. <laughs> I will show you something. I will show you something. So, before Jesus Christ came, Proverbs 30 verse 1 said, we gave him some people to go and clear way for him. There is Utel, there is Ukla, all those angels, they went to pave way for somebody that will ascend and descend. They went to pave way for somebody that will gather wind. In his hand, they went to pay way for somebody that would turn water into a garment. Your boss will say, Oh, fear or no, shasho bora. And I said, ah, you know, you know, I went to I, I went to inspect a tank farm, auntie. I went to inspect a tank farm on the sea. So when the boat was flying and we enter a gallop on the sea, I heard the hand of the boat, and people with me say, they said, Man of God, what is happening? I said, My faith shook. My face shook. You understand? Because in, I now remembered how one man at one day walked upon the water. You understand? He walked upon the sea. He raised the dead. He raised the man. He raised the man. 
Mighty high. Everything, everything you think about you is great. You are great, yes, you are. came to prepare a way for somebody who had capacity to walk upon the sea. Who, they said, what manner of man is this? Even the wind obeyed him. Abba, Ajiba, Atego, Soro. Understand? The wind obeyed him. Do you know why? Because some people came to make way for him ahead of time. Today, as you go back to your houses, the wind will obey you in the name of Jesus. See, wait. Some people, they will speak to the land and the land will hear them. Some people, they bring out dust. They blow powder. And the person the powder eats will become paralyzed. Are you saying that those people are powerful more than you? Have you not read about Joshua? The one that spoke to the sun at the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still. And because of Joshua, February is not complete the date. Hey, 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 hey. See, we are creating an eternal dynasty here. We are creating the tribes of Joshua here. See, when they look at our lineage, they test my blood. They test Pharaoh's blood. They, they will say, ah, these are the tribes of Joshua. Why? Because, because at the valley of Ajalon, the sun stood still and, and, and obeyed his voice. So a day is coming. I will stand at Tom Elan Bridge. I will say, God, I don't like this sun. Let there be night. And night will just come all of a sudden. See, it's... See, 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 a time is coming. We will be among those that will change the name Nigeria. Let me tell you how we're going to do it. I just say, Fair on me, meet me in the middle of the night. I just say, I just say, uh, Daddy, meet me in the middle of the night. I just say, Okay, oh yeah, yeah, meet me in the middle of the night. Then, but you'll be in your room. I'll be in my own room. Because, but, because I know that there's something called angels of resemblance. <laughs> so, I will be in my room, I will step out of my body. I will come and meet you in your room. You too, you will step out of your body. You come and meet me here. And we will say, let us name this country. What name should we give it? Let us give it the blood of Jesus. Then I asked the Lord, what the he see? Hey! And he said, hey! Wait, 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 wait. There are some people in Yoruba that they call them Ajibo Kusoro. Because the dead answer them. But we, we are Ajiba Jesu Soro. Ah, daddy, when Apostle Babaola died, I listened to one of his oriki. Mama Bola said, Mama Bola said, Ogbadura titi titi ti agbada e should be not done. Ah uh ah. -uh. I said, is that part of Oriki? He said, he said, omo amu gbagbore ni oso se yun. Dide ko da mi lohun okunrin ogun yin woli mo nkesi. Ah ah. I said, I said, if they can this man Let me tell you the one I like most. They said, Oh, Badura, titi, 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 Agbada, it should be not done. I like that one. If you, are, if you understand my language, you understand what I mean. He said, He prayed and He prayed. And He Himself became a fire. So when He entered into the territory of the enemies, the enemy saw fire. 
Dimension Boulant, your presence. Where is that? Where is that? Please rise to your feet. Let me show you something. Matthew 26, 53. <laughs> Matthew 26, 53. How are you? Matthew 26, 53. God bless you, man. <laughs> Matthew 26, 53. Rise to your feet. Let us read it together. God bless you, man. I want to show you something. We are going to read it together. Even if it does where well, we are going to stop tonight. Because there are still other angels I want to show you. But I want to show you a dimension of God. Matthew 26, 53. Can you read together, everybody? One, two, go. Everybody, one, two. Are you there? Are you, if you are there, say hallelujah. I can't hear your voice has dropped. Are you there tonight? If you are there, shout hallelujah. Okay, let us read it together. Matthew 26, 53. Are you there? One, two, go. Are you not aware? Oh, I can't hear your voice. Want to go? Are you not aware that I can call my father? Who is the person talking? Oh, I want to hear. Why, why are you scared to call Jesus? When you are, when you are boastful, when your boss wants to terrorize you in the office, and your father is the chairman of that company, you can say, Are you not aware that I can call my father? Daddy, <laughs> you know, have you have you worked with all these Lebanese people that their father that their father is the chairman of that company? They will tell you, are you not aware that my father is the chairman of that company? Ah, I'm sorry, sir. Let me show you something. Jesus Christ told them, are you not aware that I can call my father? What did he say? Listen to it. One to go. That's what. And we once put at my disposal. How many legions? In a large voice, how many legions? A legion is 6,000. Somebody said, somebody said, I have 12 legions. 12 times 6,000, what is that? What is that now? That is 72,000. Oh, you people don't know mathematics. Somebody said, I have in my disposal 12 legions. And by the time we plot that, the mathematics, a legion is what? 6,000. So 12 times 6,000 will give you what? In a loud voice, let me hear you now. Somebody, somebody is having 72,000 in his disposal. Wait, let me show you. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Second Kings 1935. Go to 2 Kings 1935. I want to show you something. You will see, somebody said, well, you will see why they sang that song that seated on the throne. You will see it now. You will see, say, I, I see the angels ascending everywhere. You will see. If somebody, somebody is having 72,000 angels at the disposal, let me show you something. 2 Kings 1935. I want everybody to read. Are you ready to read? One, two goes. One, read. And that very night, uh -huh, the Lord went out. And what? One oil and what? Wait, 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 wait. One angel killed 185,000. So somebody is having 72,000 angels. So it means that 72,000 multiplied by 185,000. What will that one give you? What will it give you now? No, that will give you 1.4 trillion. Hey. I calculate that. Hey. 72,000. Multiplied by. Yes, what would that one give you? 13 billion. That year, we calculate another one. Oh, that. What? 13 billion, yeah? 
Okay. That the other be 1.3 trillion. Yo. But let's see. What is the population of the earth? What is the population of the earth? 8 billion. Somebody is having 1.3. That is it's 13 billion. But somebody is having 1.3 trillion. That's what I calculated before I came home. But I'm going to go and calculate it again. Now, 1.3 trillion. And the population of the entire earth is 8 billion. So it means that 1.3 trillion can consume the entire earth. How many times? You don't know what you carry, man. And wait, oh, don't stop there. Don't stop there. And the person is saying, if I can carry 1.3, that is 13 billion. He said, greater than this, you will do. I see Jesus. Jesus. On the door. <laughs> I see the angels. I see it everywhere. I see the spirit. My life again. Wait, auntie, auntie, if you, you, no, 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 you now begin to understand when he say, when, it's, when the prophet told the servant, he say, ah, uh, if we open your eyes, you will know that those that are with us, 1.3 trillion with us, are more than those that are against you, but you are even powerful more than Jesus, because he said greater things. So, if Jesus is doing 1.3 trillion or 1.4, you will be doing 2.8 trillion. So, the prophet said, if we open your eyes, you will see that those 1.3 trillion with us are more than this one against us. <laughs> and uh, daddy, <laughs> daddy, by the time they open the eyes of that person, he said, ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm sorry. I did not know. He's a chariot of fire. He's not child of fire. He's not another one that has leg like Katu. He's not another one that have the wing and the person was looking like lion. Uh, he said, Master, <laughs> if these are the people that are with us, <laughs> let us go and fight. <laughs> How can you fly? What do they call them? What? See, see, see. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Your prayer, it will not turn to a protocol. Your prayer will turn into like usher. It will go like it will send the 1.3 trillion angels ahead of you, and they will make way for you. So when you are coming, you are not the only one walking. When you are the only one coming, you are not the only one coming. You are walking with entourage from heaven. They saw the four lepers. The four lepers they don't have leg. The four lepers don't have leg. But when they were going, when they were going, the Assyrians they were hearing. You don't know the ways of the winds. How can you run? Well, you don't know the ways of the deep. Hey! He's the Holy Ghost! Spirit of the... Rakatara Sepala Rado Sapa. Yero te kalaso palata. Rate kero sepala. Rete kero de baba sata yamasa. Bale yata. Rete kosureta. Uh, so when you now hear, mommy, when you hear, and lo, I am with you always. <laughs> what is the meaning of that? <laughs> it means that your shadow self, it can represent 82 billion angels. <laughs> that your skin alone, it can represent 1.4 trillion angels. When they say, and lo, I am with you, you may not see me with ordinary eyes. But if they open your eyes, you will see that those that are with you are more than those that are against you. So, when you are reading a book, it will be like, it will be in similitude of the book that Paul wrote. You will be reading from the scroll of Paul. When they give you a mantle, they will turn your mantle to the mantle of Elijah. Because they were the ones that have capacity to call down fire. And today, before you go anywhere, these guys, they will be working with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Have you not read? He said, the Lord God with them. 
confirming it with signs and wonders following. Was the, was the, was it Jesus that was following them? No, he allotted some angels of guidance. He looked for angels of resemblance. He said, you, uh, oh, uh, no, there is no time. I want to show you, there's a, there's a, there's a specific angel, they call them archangels. Those archangels, they have the seraphims and the cherubims there. Yes, the seraphim, he has six wings. He will be flapping his wing like this. Anytime God rises from the throne, he doesn't have wing because he's powerful. He's having wing to cover his face from the glory of God. You don't understand? So when somebody appears to me and come with a wing in my house, I will ask him, are you seraphims or you are cherubims? Are you, what message do you come to bring? Because they are used to bringing messages to people. They brought message to Mary. Am I correct? When they even came to Mary, they spoke politely. Hail Mary, thou daughter of the Most High, thou art blessed among men. It's politeness because what Mary carried, if they cannot carry it. So if somebody appeared to me with wings, you think I'll, be, I'll run away? That wing you have is to cover your face when the glory of God arises. That wing you have is not to scatter, it's not to fear me now. It's not to make. Oh, be rest that shot that I've been taken by the Lord. See, let, wait, 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 wait. The Lord told me, He said, This week I will allocate angels that will be going with you anywhere you go to. Yeah. Have you not read when He said, And he, he said, I will give my angels charge that you may not dash your foot against the stone. How many angels? Only one angel is enough now. But if you have 1.4 trillion, how will you be able to hit your foot against the stone now? They will clear the road for you. Things are not working because your angels are sleeping. But today, as I'm going to anoint you, they begin to work for you in the name of Jesus. See, there is no time. I will summarize it. Daddy, there are some angels... They call, Colossians 1 16, right there, before you go. Colossians 1 16. Colossians 1 16. There are some angels. Look at it. He said, For him all things were created. Things in heaven or on earth. Visible and invisible. Visible and invisible. Now, look at what he mentioned. How can you say something visible and invisible? And look at the names he mentioned. Number one, he said, he said, visible and whether thrones. Uh -uh. There's an angel called thrones. Because he said, whether visible or invisible. He said, I can't. so that throne is not here now. That, those are the types of angels. He said, whether what? Thrones. Somebody said, thrones. He said, Thrones or power. Somebody said powers. So when Bible said all power has been given to me, he is not talking about strength. He is talking about dimensions of angels or authority. That is not English language. That is another type of angel called authority. Because he said visible or invisible. How does throne become a chair? How does dominion become a chair? Those are the angels allocated for specific purposes. These angels called thrones, do you know what they do? Auntie, do you know what angels that call throne do? There is no vacancy at the top. There's no vacancy at the top. They will create vacancy. And they will say, what is your name? They will say, come and sit down, there's vacancy for you. That's what throne do now. You must call them Afobaje. Because they are responsible for enthroning and dethroning. You understand? So, they, see, nobody become a leader if angels called thrones don't empower you to become, to sit there. They are the ones that are responsible for, they are called kingmakers. We send them on and then I say, it is apostle that your time. Go and create space for him at the top. So that's what right I said. One in Kosa, yes, okay. Oh, why you fool me, okay? Oh, go go for them. Me, I know the rook. Wait, 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 wait. Because there was no space there. 
let me tell you, listen to me. When you lose your space, it's not going to heaven. Somebody else has taken it. That's the meaning. So when you lose your seat, no, they don't, nobody sits in heaven. Somebody else has taken your seat. But what the angels, when we allocate them to you, yeah, because nobody become a governor without belonging to something. You are not listening to me. Nobody becomes a senator without belonging to something. You don't become a boss if there is no altar attached to your life. My altar is called. Cool. See, there must be an altar attached to you before you can become that thing. So, what this angel's called throne will do is that they will not create space for you. They will say, Mrs. Adewale Ojo, it is your time. Whoever, whoever is sitting there before, they will drive them away. They call them thrones up for budget. Today, I dethrone people before, before, because of you. In the name of Jesus. When yeah. there is no space, they will create space. You don't get I yet one year. Let's see Nilo. I want to see you buying the share. Do your leg like this. Do your leg like this. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? Are you ready now? Say fire by me let the share Olua. Give me space to get to the top. Ah, create a space for me at the top too. Jesus. Let me tell you, when your anointing is not working for you yet, don't worry. Go and pray and say, God, give me throne. When you say, give me throne, what we'll do is that we'll not allocate the kingmaker's anointing for you. People will not be placing a demand on your call. It doesn't, see, it will start from where you are. My own started from my office. My own did what is, I started prophesying from my own office. Where is Jude? He has gone. I told somebody, I said, you will become pregnant in June. And in June, he came back, he was pregnant. The other one came in my office. They said she, she was barren. I said, come, you have been barren for eight years. I said, I give you a date, November 22, become pregnant. November 22, she came and brought her pregnancy results. She was pregnant. It will not start from far away. It will start from your immediate environment. It will start from your immediate. See, let me tell you, don't wait until you have a mic before you start using it. When the wind blows, it might be this guy on, on camera. It might be this, this guy that will just say, the wind, the wind of the enthronement will fall on him. You are waiting for the pastor to come. Not knowing that God does not work like that. His ways are not our ways. It might be this guy at the back and they say, this guy, he has scaled up himself. He has prepared himself. When apostle is talking, he was writing down. Dimensions were open unto him. He wasn't hearing what I'm hearing. He wasn't hearing what I'm saying. But there is a download coming from heaven. So when it is time for him to be enthroned, they will look at the amount of what he has gathered. They will look at the amount of what he has gathered. They will look at the amount of what he has gathered. And they will enthrone him. How many of you want enthronement today? Hey, 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 hey. I want to speak to that thing in your life. There is power. To break every chains, break every chains, break every chains, to break every chains, break every chains, break every chains. Wait, 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 wait. It was, it was Muhammad Gaddafi. Muhammad Gaddafi said, "I am, I am the king of kings." And the Christian community got annoyed. They said, how dare you share the identity of my father? Your throne has been demolished. And immediately the angels called throne, they had it. And they said, you, you will not let the dethrone him. One man, Daniel chapter 5, 25 to 28. He desecrated the holy altar of God. And the hand called, they came out from the wall. Mene, Mene, Teke, Ufasi. And that night, his kingdom was demolished. They were the angels called throne. 
they enthrone and dethrone people. They said, this one, how dare you go and take out of the altar of God to desecrate the holy altar of God. Today we divide your kingdom. I, let me tell you, there is no space for you. You will go back with this anointing and there will be space allocated for you. Yeah. Thrones, they are not only there. There are other angels called authority and power. Why will you give me throne and there is no authority? Why will you ask me to sit down and you don't empower me? It was the centurion servant that opened our eyes. He said, I am a man of authority and power. I tell this one to go and they go. I tell this one to come and they come. Don't come to my house, speak the word. Jesus said, ah, ah, these guys understand power. Power is not to come to it. Wait, 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 wait. Power is not in your muscle. <laughs> so when you hear power, there are no people lifting weight in the middle of the night. They are the people that can say mountain be moved and mountain will move. They are the, it, it, power is not because you can beat your wife. You are not powerful because you can beat a woman. In fact, that you are beating a woman is, a, is, is, is attached to the fact that you are a lazy man. Anybody? Wait, wait, wait. I told one of my son, I said, You beat your wife, leprosy will come on you. Daddy, you were there in that service. I told one of my sons, I said, You beat your wife, leprosy will come on you. One well, beat that from that day, he didn't beat the woman. He has physical power, me, I have spiritual power. You beat her if leprosy will not come on you. I said, but if you stay with your wife, I create for you, I create a space for you at the top. And suddenly, they stop beating each other, and now they are about to be relocated to, uh, relocated to United Kingdom. The world became flesh. And it's living with us. See, I will not be a pastor that cannot tell a man you are wrong when you are wrong. And that is why here we don't talk about that and often too much. Because if I'm talking about that and offering, I will not be able to scold you when you do, wrong, when you do something wrong. You understand what I mean? So, but when you do something wrong, and let me tell you, if you serve into my hand, if Holy Spirit can reveal something about you to me, you are dead. Let me tell you, somebody was beating his wife in America. They, they brought the case to me. I said, uncle, who is, who is Gladys? Ah? He said, did you, my wife tell you anything? I said, No. I said, let me, let me describe Gladys for you. I said, Gladys is wearing high heel. High heel. She, her size is eight. In fact, Gladys is beside you as I'm talking to you. He said, are you in America or you are in Nigeria? I said, I'm in Nigeria. And the man said, Apostle, can we come on camera? He want to see whether, he want to be sure whether I am in Nigeria or I'm in America. I said, okay, there's no problem. I, I, I was cooking in my office. And I was answering, I was even answering the mail, I was distracted. But despite the distraction, you have it, you have it. They brought it like a wind. And I said, when the man saw me, he confirmed that I was in Nigeria, or I am in Nigeria. He said, can you pray for me? I said, kneel down where you are. Uh, he's, in, he's in U.S. military. But me, I'm, I've enrolled in the, in the military of David. Revival, come, come, come. Revival, come, come, come. Revival, come. Daddy, daddy, there's a revival blowing through the wind of Lagos. And we are also among the pioneers of that revival. It is a revival to reshape, realign, and restructure families. It's a revival to make people know that God is still in the business of ruling the affairs of men. It's a revival that will land at the shores of your house and things will begin to work well for you again. Listen to me and listen to me good. Listen to me and listen to me good. When you don't have power, you don't have it. When you don't have thrones, and look, there are some angels, they call them authorities. Do you know what they do? What they do is that they look for territories. In fact, some of them, they call them dominion. Daddy, I say angel, I say dominion, me more. We have angels called thrones. Somebody said thrones. We have angels called authorities. Somebody authorities. Power. But there is one I like. They call that one dominion. 
belong to Mauru, 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 Don't go there yet. That's what they call dominion. Let me tell you what dominion will do, eh? Dominion will do something. It will create a space for you. I will say this territory, this territory, it belongs to architect Oluboja. Trespassers shy. In fact, those ones, you know, in your land, they will not put something like a red substance there. You pass through it, you die. So Domina, what the mineral will do is that uh -huh, uh -huh. they will say you dig the first well, enemy cover it. They don't they didn't talk. Pastor, you dig the second well, enemy cover it. They didn't talk. The third well, Dominion came. Dominion said, Don't touch this place. Because this place is his rare robot. When they allocate space for you, Dominion will say it and say, This one belongs to Apostle Dio. Fair on me. Architect. Oh, yeah. So your boss will say, Why are you disturbing yourself now? Oh, you are around here for like one now. Your boss say, Why do you want to shine his own shine? Why do you want to shine? When, when we don't slap, when we have created space for you at the top, why do you want to disturb yourself? Jay Franklin can be ruling in America. He will not take my money from his own money. A friend of me can come and manifest signs and wonders. He will not take my shine from his own shine. Why do you want territories not to be allocated to people? When the Bible said that eagles fly, they don't touch each other. <laughs> How many of you want space at the top? Hey! Yoruba film. They don't know the meaning of Mauru, 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 Mommy, Lord, you. Uh, what? Well, I've not seen this thing clearly. Um, Dominion, what is happening there? I can't see clearly. Throne, what is happening there? Uh, something is covering my veil. I can't see. And Bible said, the veil of the temple. At that point, you can no longer fail because you can now see. He said, I was once blind. They covered his face with veil. But now I can see there are angels allocated for prosperity. Yorubas know them. They call them Igiaje. They will say, come for money rituals. See, it's not as if it doesn't work. They cut so for you, it will work. I am not the pastor that will tell you the reverse. But you see the riches of God. He gives unto you and he added no sorrow to it. When they cut so for you, it will work. But the chicken may carry two counts. The chicken may carry two maize. When it carry two maize, it's only two months you have to spend. But my father said, there is a blessing. And there is a blessing of God. He had no sorrow to eat. If they cut so for you, it will, it will work. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, but he said, the riches of Egypt, the merchandise of Ethiopia, the work of the Sabians, they will chase after you. It doesn't stop there. I therefore send you to go and reap where you have not worked. Others will walk and you will enter. 
Which one do you want? Is it the soap that you want? Or you want the one that others will go and work for you? Daddy, Jesus, he was looking for how to pay tax. They wanted to embarrass him. And the man said, uh uh. Sometimes they go, some traders in Tashish, they threw money into the water in the Old Testament. He said, and I know by spiritual guidance that money doesn't leave the planet at. Once you lose it, it is going to somebody else's hand. Jesus Christ said, go, come, Emma, don't waste time. Go into the sea. I send you therefore to go and reap where you have now sown. He did it. Hey, hey, hey. Well, do you know that at the verge of embarrassment, God has a way of showing forth for his own people? Hey, money. When you are about to be embarrassed, he will show forth for you. How many of you want God to show forth for you today? At the verge of embarrassment, when they are supposed to dethrone you, ni batoba kutie ke ashirin ko tutita. When it is remaining small for you to be dethroned, I call upon my father. Let him speak on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Pray this prayer with me. Father, when it is remaining small for me to be embarrassed. When it is remaining small for people to know that I don't have a God again. When it is remaining small for people to know that I have lost my savour and I'm no longer relevant, open your mouth and say, Lord, cover me. Cover me with your glory. Palatero Kana. Come with your glory. Come with your glory. Come with your glory. Hello, chef. This is the way we pray on the mountain. On the mountain, you do your leg like this. It's like, bless, bless, bless. That's what we put on the mountain. I wish some of you fall into the mountain. Eight hours, you are still standing. And you cannot get down in annoyance. Because the staircase we will climb is 8,000 stairs. You cannot come down in annoyance. So when I say raise your leg, you will better raise it. Big batuba kudia kojuko timi oluwa. in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray when these angels allocate territories for people you are there you are saying there is nobody to put me into the water eh? when they are busy putting people in the water you are saying because ah my god and that guy said when he goes ah you look oh he said they said there is no space but this angel called throne they created a space for me Nobody becomes a senator if you are not empowered. Michael Jackson was not Michael Jackson until he sold his life to the devil. And at the point of death, he said, I sold my life to devil. Nobody amount to anything without being assisted. Wait, 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 wait bring it down. No, what did I say? Nobody amount to anything without being assisted. It is either you are being assisted from heaven or they are cutting soap for you. There must be an assistant somewhere. Are you getting me? Ah, ah, daddy. Let me do that. Daddy, daddy took me somewhere. One man of God, prophet Ezekiah. He said, you know me, I listen to both Yoruba and Igbo. I listen to Cameroon. Any, so far there is spirit there. 
I don't need to understand the language. But when I see presence, I say, let me stay there. Let me stay there. I don't want to be like Jacob. God was here and I knew him not. You understand? The man prayed, prayed. They, they invited him to come and do an inauguration for governor. But he speaks Yoruba. He couldn't speak English. So when he was coming, they despised his anointing. They said, sir, Lord Joko saying, go and sit down at the back. Ah, the man said, me that can pray inside the forest. Me, you are the one saying, because I cannot speak English. He, now, he came out in the sky. He said, God, rearrange this seat. And, and rain started falling. It was a, a, an Igbo governor. When rain started falling, everybody ran a task scatter. They ran away. Then the governor's wife now came. He said, Baba, rain is falling. He said, ah, What do you want me to do? Baba, pray for us. He said, he did, Baba did not pray. He said, I have some there. Fair on me, come. Go and hold the rain and come back. Hey! Baba wanted to prove that we are the throne here. We are the kingmaker here. So, Tell me now, and he said, rain stop, and the rain stopped immediately. So when they were rearranging the seat, they said, Baba said, let me go and sit down at the back. He said, eh? Hey! <laughs> Baba said, but Baba said, eh, you are the one that will pray. Baba said, but I don't, I don't speak English. Said, we will interpret for you. We will interpret for you. forgive me this time around. I don't want to speak English again. You have to forgive me. You have to forgive me. Because I have discovered by experience that anytime I pray for you in Yoruba, in my language, I have discovered from experience that it works faster than English. Wait, wait, wait. wait. This is my son. His wife was pregnant and they said the baby turned up and down. I was praying for her. I said, uh, Jeff Franklin, like I said, Apostle, change it. He said, I should not speak English. I should change it to Yoruba. I said, And the baby turned immediately. Yeah. 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 When he called me, I said, ah. I said, Jeff Franklin, I see a size, three point something. I said, let them do CS for your, for your wife. He said, ah, Apostle, there's no money. I said, see. They will do CS. Why? But I said, everything will be fine. There's an authority that must back you up. You must be drinking from an altar. Once this altar is not deceiving you, drink from it. You understand? Once this altar is not asking you to bring cattle, bring goats, bring the drink from it. Hashtag Otan Tsi. Fear ye bamila ti shere oluwa. Don't allow me to come like that. Create room for me. Let me also excel. Among we have five minutes to round up. Let me also excel. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now I want to pray for people with somebody. Is there the lady from TikTok? Are you here? The lady with uh, pain. Are you here? Okay, so I want to pray for people. Now, there are cases the Lord showed me that I want to heal tonight. Number one, appetitis. The Lord wants to, appetitis A, B, C, I don't know whether it's up to Z, but appetite, whatever appetitis it is. Ancient one never true. Do you know why? Do you know why there's an ancient one? Do you know why? Because he exists in the ages past. He said anybody with any manner of amen tonight, 
I will not lay hands because time has gone. But I will pray for you where you are. You just come, raise up the bottle of your oil. I will pray over the bottle of your oil and there will be healing. I'm sure you already sense God where you are already. Are you sensing God already? Are you sensing God already now? Then I want to pray for arthritis. I want to pray for glycoma. Bring out your bottle of oil. Water, whatever you have. I want to decree now. And it, see, if God can correct the intestine, who told you that your own intestine cannot be corrected? Uh, just two weeks ago, intestine was corrected. Are you getting me? Are you getting me? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can you rest to your feet now? We are going home now. We just have five minutes. Rest to your feet. Now, listen to me. Everybody, listen, listen, listen. Wait, wait. Can you look at me? It was pastor. Pastor brought somebody. Say, I want to pray for this person. And I asked the person. <laughs> what did I say? I, I forgot to say. The mother. <laughs> I, I said the name of the mother. Uh, and I said, your mother's name is this. He said, yes. I said, but there's, I, I said, there's, I saw a something, something. He said, all those things that you saw, they are there. All the names are there. How did I see it? Do I know the person from somewhere? They brought it. They were, they were writing it. When I need them, they will write it. You get me? You know, I told my son. I said, you are going to marry that girl. They thought I was joking. They cannot stop it. They dare not stop it. Because the hand of the Lord has started it. He will complete it. When Paul planted, Apollo water it. God bring what? The increase. Uh-uh. Has he not said that power belongs to God? You dare not challenge it. Do you know what? Do you know what? I will offend somebody in my office. They cannot even correct me again. They will be correcting my subordinate. Meanwhile, I was the one that offended. Wait, 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 please. I want to pray. Fibroid. Arthritis, glycoma, hepatitis. We want to deal with it tonight. Are you ready now? Put your hands that place that is paining you. I cannot have time to lay hands, but I will pray for you. Put your hands there. Put your hands there. Put your hands there. Are you ready now? I ask the angels to stretch their hands into your body. Everything that is not planted by God. Arthritis, appetitis, every blockage, ovarian cyst, la corus e paladoroza tiza, reketeruza, about 10 people now. I decree, let the angels pull them out in the name of Jesus. Whatever is not allowing you to enjoy the youthfulness of your age. You hear that language? The youthfulness of your age. Everything that is not allowing you to enjoy the youthfulness of your age. I decree and declare. Today, let the earth rotate. And let the earth walk in your advantage again. In the name of Jesus. See, there's a spare part. There's a spare part in heaven. When your kidney is damaged, there's a spare part in heaven. When your eyes is not working well, there's a spare part in heaven. There's a follow come in heaven. You are custom built. The angels are jealous over you. Therefore, everything in your body that is making you to go leaner when you're supposed to be robust and be adding weight. Everything in your body that is acting contrary to the progress of God in your body. I stand as one of the angels of, of Lagos. You didn't hear that one. I stand as one of the angels in Lagos. I decree and declare everything in your body that is not allowing you to enjoy that body. I pull them out now. There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol. I decree. Let the protocol breaker break every protocol for you now. Let the mountain move. Move every mountain for you now. Akaba, eri ogo. E iti e ni koko uri kunle yitele. Akaba, agbara. Latsi e ni lo. 
Every man je mu Oluwa, every man gun ni Oluwa Jesus. In case you don't hear that one. The height of glory that nobody has attained in your house before. The height of elevation that you have not attained before. I stand as one of the angels of the church in Nigeria. I stand in partnership with the Holy Spirit. Tonight, begin to climb that height again. We were holding one service. That woman got back home. Five broad disappeared from her tummy. She got back home. She was looking for it. She went to the hospital. It's no longer there. Before you get back home, it will not be there again. It will not be there again. Whoever is talking to the ground on your behalf. Whoever is commanding the wind in your disadvantage. Whoever is not allowing you to enjoy your age on earth. Let the ground open and swallow them. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout the name of Jesus seven times. Are you ready to shout Jesus? Let me hear the pedal. Are you ready to shout Jesus now? Are you ready? Are you ready? Say Jesus! Say Jesus! Say Jesus! Say Jesus! Say Jesus! Say Jesus! 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 My Savior! My healer! My peace! My help! My Savior! My healer! Jesus! 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 